Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with episode 9 of my Manchester United modded realism series. We're back on FIFA's realism mod here today. We have a massive match against Arsenal and then we face Sheffield United as well. After 12 games played, we currently sit in second, just behind Liverpool in first. Spurs have made it into that top three bracket, followed by Man City in fourth, Arsenal fifth, and Chelsea in sixth. It's quite interesting how the league table is developing. So we're going away down to the Emirates to face Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. I'm going to be using the Manchester United historical kit for this one because there's a bit of a, a kit clash with the red. Man, this fixture growing up used to decide titles. How far both of these sides have really fallen in recent memory. But hopefully we can pick up a good result here today. We're actually on a really bad run of form. We've had some absolutely embarrassing, shameful matches. It's been a quite difficult time in the career series, fixture-wise. We're coming off a 2-0 defeat in the last episode to Manchester City, and we actually got knocked out of the Carabao Cup in the fourth round. We beat Arsenal in the third to progress to the fourth, but then we got drawn against Chelsea who knocked us out. We've lost a couple of matches in the Champions League as well, so it's going to be fascinating to see where this career series ends up. I'm going to be playing nearly every single fixture as well, so it's going to be a good long career series, so strap yourselves in. The main objective is to either win the Premier League or the Champions League. If we don't do either, I would consider this series a failure. Aubameyang looking to go forward the top goal scorer of the Premier League even though Arsenal are in fifth that's a player we really have to watch out for Diaby looking to go forward to Erling Haaland to Pogba Rashford on the inside uh, Turney got back to that one quite quickly and United reset and try to go at it again Pogba a campaign to remember. Yeah, I did highlight his nine goals in the Prem this season. It's going to be fascinating to see where Arsenal end up. Party tackled there. United trying to create a counter-attack. Party holds on well. Aubameyang with the kick in. And Wan-Bissaka deals with the header there quite comfortably. Diaby, United, looking to pressure counter-attack. We just need a clean run through. Erling Haaland couldn't get on to the end of that one. Arsenal defending quite well in this. Here we go. Erling Haaland. Fernandez winds up. And it was nearly going near post OP. But Leno got a glove to it. Corner kick now. Fernandez to Erling. Arsenal's defence. Uh really standing firm although I like the heritage of this kit I don't particularly like it so much in FIFA because <laughs> uh, green kits to me unless they're like vibrantly fluoro they really do clash with the turf on the pitch Willian now back to Thomas over the top back to Willian and that's a massive fluff <laughs> up from the Brazilian really good career mode player Willian it's kind of embarrassing, his uh, form in real life. Erling Haaland holds up the ball. Nah, just trying to create some space. That wasn't the play. One too many step overs. And now we're 25 minutes in. And a goal doesn't look in sight. David Luiz still got it. The dude has been like a career mode cult hero for so long. I remember the peak with these ultimate team cards from like 2013 to 2012. They were insane. That first time around at Chelsea. Erling. Uh, Willian. Good tackle there on Pogba. To break up the Arsenal hegemony in midfield. Ah, Xhaka and... Arsenal. That's a good ball there by Willian. Really good vision there. I kind of admire that. Sometimes Saka can get onto the end of those. Arsenal. A really 
fun career mode team. Shaw. Oh, how's he not scored that? He stuck it right at him. Fascinating what's going on in real life with Arsenal. Whether or not they're going to sack Arteta. At the time of recording, they haven't. But there's a massive power shift going in London at the moment. Arsenal fans-wise is the biggest club in London and globally, undoubtedly. But it seems like Chelsea, if they win the Champions League final, would be the biggest club trophy-wise. Like two European Cups. I really want Chelsea to win, to be honest. Oh, Ozil with a good shot. In this alternative timeline, Arteta has put his arm around Ozil and kept him at the club. He's been a little bit quiet in this match. Maybe that's why Bamiang is creating so many goals. They've got a creative player like Ozil still in the mix. Arsenal. Willian. Ozil. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? Um... I'm gobsmacked. Arsenal have probably scored the goal of the season there. Aubameyang with his new make over there in the realism mod with the fro. Look at this. Willian whips it in. Ozil on the touch. Slaps it so hard on his left that it rockets the crossbar. There's no way David De Gea isn't going to save that one. And it's an unlikely goal scorer. Ozil, who decided to stay at the club and not go to Besiktas. I don't believe it. They have one opportunity and they've created an amazing goal. Uh, that is, that is blown my mind. But that's ultimate difficulty for you on the realism mod, of course. The AI can score some crazy goals. I feel like we've been the better opposition <laughs> in this first half. We haven't probably created a clear-cut chance... Like that, but numerically we've had a lot. That's a bit... Come on, it should be 1-1 one, one at least. <sighs> Fernandez, ball in now. Pogba can't... Yeah, I knew we couldn't get to it. <sighs> That's insane. I think there was a similar, like, mental goal in the Juventus career mode where they scored from, like, the halfway line. Hernandez from Leeds, potentially on the move. We still have the January transfer window. Ozil here, gobbled up by Kunde. Yeah. So, the Premier League, nor top four, isn't really nailed on after losing against these tops. We've lost a lot, actually. This is not good. <laughs> it's turning into... The thing is, right, if you want to try and win the Premier League... You have to win every single match pretty much against the top six. You can afford to draw one of the two fixtures when you face them twice. But personally for me, my titles get decided against the top sides. Because I can usually blow away easier opposition. But we've lost to Spurs. We've lost to Arsenal. We, oh my god, nearly 2-0 there. Dave comes out. And we've lost to Man City. So when we face them again later in the season we have to win it's really all or nothing so we've got a midweek Champions League match against Rosenball Leipzig I think I'm probably going to simulate that match as it is a bit of a dead fixture as we've beaten PSG we have beaten Besiktas I think we're top of our group I'll need to double check but I feel like my Second team can probably deal with it. And then we'll get the first team to play against Sheffield United. Pogba. Arsenal sliding wildly. And Luke Shaw fires it up to Rashford, but Cedric there really holding the ball well. Erling. Haaland. Okay. Leno is just playing insane. Like... Erling converts that nine times out of ten. Lacazette now comes on for Aubameyang. He looks cool in his new updated model for the mod. And that's a terrible header there by Eric Bailly. If it didn't take a bounce, it might have had a bit more sauce on it. Might have gone in. 
Cavani, Greenwood, and James will bring on, I think. Or we could go with Lingard. He does like scoring against Arsenal. But I think going with the pace against a weakened Arsenal defence. This kit also reminds me of the Australian kit. I find it quite weird. Seeing United in like an Australian kit. But, oh, handball there, potentially. Yeah, it was. Not deliberate necessarily sliding in like that. But I think it's an unnatural position, VAR, I guess. Greenwood now, United in the dying embers of the match. Can't squander an opportunity. Cavani. Oh, good block there. Uh, we deserve to be drawing at least, I think. Arsenal have only created one clear cut chance. And they converted it. Saka here now. Arsenal looking for a second. Kunde comes out. <laughs> Dropped him like a sack of spuds there. I would say that was a little bit dangerous. That high octane. So in the last 15 minutes, we've had 62% of the possession and three shots. That's ridiculous. That Arsenal have still weathered the storm. But at the moment, it doesn't look like we're going to be scoring in this. Hang on. They might hold on to this 1-0 lead. United. They brought in Saliba into the back line, which is interesting. Fernandez, Cavani turns his man. James, back to Cavani. A golden opportunity. How does that not go in, man? <laughs> Leno is just having a world-class performance. It's as simple as that. And that's it. Nope. It was a... It's a substitution and a free kick. There's only like 13 seconds remaining. We might be able to nick a goal late here. Yes. Fernandez. Oh my god. Saliba with the with the save of the match. And that's it. We have massively underperformed in this one. And we've lost to the best result in world football. 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil is the best result. 11-7. Oh my god, that's just career mode sometimes for you. You win badly when you play so well. Yeah, so we sit on seven points with PSG, and then five there for Leipzig, and then Besiktas on two. So even if we do... Uh, we can use the second team to simulate it. Even if we draw, that's okay. I feel confident enough. Uh, 2-2, Fred Lingard. I would have liked to win, but we might finish second in the group after that. Okay, let's get stuck into the second match of today's video. So after that defeat against Arsenal, we've dropped down to third now. It's going to be such a close title race this season. But now we take on Sheffield United. At Old Trafford, a team that's probably set to be relegated in real life. How well are they doing in the career series, I wonder? Wolves in 7th, Everton in 8th, Everton nor West Ham not pushing into that top 6 spots. And Sheffield at 16th, Fulham, Aston Villa, West Brom in the relegation scrap. So they're in 16th. And coming up at the end in December, two matches against Leeds and Aston Villa. And then Liverpool twice in December and January. So a lot of bit of repetitive fixtures there. But we need a good performance here against Sheffield United. Five at the back. Bogle. The Derby County right back. He's got a pretty good potential in FIFA. But... Uh, a massive opportunity here just to bring back some form at Old Trafford. We've lost... Apart from that draw like that I've played, I've lost three consecutive matches. Which is not good. So, we desperately need a win here against Sheffield United. We need to put them to the sword. Now that the pressure is off us a bit. Look, we're still in a good position to make top four, but... We've spent $150 million on Erling Haaland. You bring him to win titles and cha and, Euro and uh, European football. Rashford, early on, starts off the scoring so, so well. Just before the 14th minute there, Rashford with a golden opportunity. 
turns his man and scores. You just don't get those type of openings against Arsenal and a weaker goalkeeper as well. Five at the back already. Sheffield United, uh, one goal down. Rashford with a magnificent goal. And I don't know if they're playing... What is it, Ramsdale? Are they not playing their best goalkeeper? But surprisingly, Marcus Rashford has scored his first goal of the Premier League. Wow. In episode 9, after 13 games played, I guess he's been underperforming, but in saying that, I feel like I've been going down the center of the pitch a lot more with Fernandez and Haaland. So he is picking up assists, but you want to see more of that from Rashford. Cutting in on that left-hand side. McBurney, Kunde can't quite get it. Diaby looking to counter-attack. Pogba with a nice little pass. Van der Beek sees an amazing run of Diaby but decides not to go for it. Fernandez, Rashford looking for his second. It wasn't to be. So even with that win for Arsenal, they're only a point behind us. Shaw, Ampadu goes forward. The former Chelsea man and Rosenborg Leipzig player. Lundström. Sheffield over the top, trying to find McBurney. And it's Mousset, I think that's how you say his name. The Frenchman. He's all right. Got a little bit of the French spite about him. That's a terrible pass for Orland. And Sheffield United go to reset. Good interception there. Diaby wins it back. Super high octane this match. So much energy from both sides. Nice one-two pass, Erling. Yeah, couldn't get the second to Rashford there. He was nearly through on goal. United. Sheffield. Go forward, Mousset. McBurney. Not a bad opportunity there. There's a yellow card for Luke Shaw. Where was that? I don't know when that yellow card infraction popped up. But it's okay. We can reset. Whoa. What a tackle there, actually. Hang on. How is Wambasaka held on there? Fernandez. To Pogba. Blocked. <laughs> the amount of interceptions on this realism mod is kind of mad. Over the top, Bogle. I do play on fast gameplay. Some people ask me that. I personally prefer it because I've been hardwired, I guess, from my early days of FIFA Ultimate Team. I used to play a lot of Ultimate Team before career modes took over the channel. But honestly, I haven't enjoyed Ultimate Team since, like, I don't know, FIFA 16. I tried playing it this year, and it's probably the worst experience in recent memory. Oh, McBurney. I just feel like they deliberately make defending harder and goalkeeping ability f worse so you can have like score lines of five to eight goals each which I guess is entertaining for the pro scene but it's just not realistic in my opinion I like tighter matches like in previous ultimate teams 4-2, 3-2, you'd occasionally have like a 6-0 blowout, but it'd be very rare. And we're on here now, Fernandez squares it, Shaw, it's just these interceptions, they've, they've put it a little bit too high up, I think. I feel like the AI is reacting too well. Like Luke Shaw had space there, he really should have just, like, it, it probably wouldn't have gone in, but it would have pushed a corner kick at least. So four minutes in, we start off this match incredibly well 
with a lightning goal from the center kick. But we've sort of fizzled out a little bit and have allowed Sheffield to gain some of the ascendancy. Fernandez. Pogba blocked Fernandez with the second. He might be able to get the third if he's lucky. Van der Beek. Fernandez uh, loses the ball too easily there. We just really need to capitalize on this lead. Player to watch, Marcus Rashford. Yeah, he's probably having the man of the match. Performance. Oh, no, here we go. Sheffield to McBurney. Good strike at David De Gea. And Sheffield United now have a dangerous corner kick. They're quite good from set pieces. Well, usually not so much this season. They just haven't been good enough. It's pouring down with rain at Old Trafford. It probably helps sides like Sheffield when it rains so much like this. Oh my god, Mousset. This what? Oh my god, it's another corner kick. Massively under pressure. Wait, what? Oh, come off it. Was that an own goal, was it? Corner kick. Oh, that was written, man. There was two opportunities that we saved. It came off Dave... No, it came off Pogba. Oh, my God. We can't draw to Sheffield United. Oh, my God, man. We're just in... We're in such a bad rut of form. We need a quick answer. Erling. Diaby. Win it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Diaby pushing forward. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This game... It's going to be the death of me. Oh. Those three attempts by Sheffield United were insane. They were just like written to score. Diaby wins that back there. And I think he scored I think he scored his first goal of the Premier League. He scored in the Champions League already, yeah. Because I remember it against uh, PSG, against his former side. Well, it's good to see that my wingers are finally getting into it. Erling and Fernandez have dropped... A little bit of form, because they were exceptional for the last seven episodes, if I'm being honest. Ball in. Oh my god, that nearly went in. I still think we might need a new goalkeeper. I don't know, like... I feel like the other teams have been playing super well, but we've been conceding crap goals. Maybe the defense isn't developed enough. Maybe we need to bring out... Like, Kunde's been really good, maybe. No, but Bay's been alright as well. We're just not converting enough. I think that's the thing. But as the season and matches go on, we will get higher rated in our players. So, always the start of a career mode. Things like the first half of the season, if you can get into a, a really good run of form, that's actually like really, really good compared to like a season two early run of form. But... I don't know. The thing is with the realism mod, other teams continually to get better. On the vanilla vil, uh, on the vanilla version of FIFA, teams don't tend to get better season after season. Erling! Oh, my God. Checks an absolute banger there. 3-1. And he's back into this one. United surge in front. 3-1. Oh, my God. This s shows such a fantastic... Winning mentality. We get an early goal. We have some adversity in the first half. Being compl being so much under pressure against Sheffield United. We concede a really terrible own goal. And then Diabe and Erling Haaland rise to the occasion. Scoring his eighth goal of the Prem as well. He could be the Premier League top goal scorer. He could win the golden boot. Sheffield probably think they deserve to get something out of this match. Erling, Haaland, Pogba, tackled. Ampadu 
probably the best defender for Sheffield. Mousset looking for his second. Probably should have got it there. And I've been so distracted <laughs> of how well my players are doing. I forgot to do my subs. Greenwood, Lingard, and James, come on. We'll drop Cavani. Ball in from a corner kick. They capitalized on this last time. Why are we so just <laughs> shell-shocked against their corner kicks? Greenwood. Playing a striker for now. He can play there. I don't see him as a, a striker, but he probably haven't got... Oh, Cav oh. Couldn't get over the top. Maybe Cavani converts that one. But yeah, I feel like we need to bring in a, a striker if we move out Cavani in January. Let me know in the comments for a younger backup striker for him. Because at the end of the day, unfortunately, Edison is 34 going on 35. Norwood, McBurney, fouled. Dangerous area there. Sheffield. Lundstram. 23 yards out. No. What? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this game is ridiculous. Sheffield in the 97th minute. There wasn't meant to be that much extra time. McBurney scores, and we only beat... Like, it's, the siren's going to sound. The ref's going to blow the whistle for full time as soon as we go off kickoff. But look at that, man. <laughs> the realism mod, especially on Ultimate Difficulty, is just insane sometimes. 3-2. Narrow win after all that against a 16th place Sheffield United. So competitive. What a crazy episode we've had. So, unfortunately, it's time to wrap things up here. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for episode 10 coming out tomorrow. Looking at the other fixtures. Arsenal have drawn with Wolves. That's not good for them. Because they were looking for my third place position. Everton win the... Uh, sorry. Liverpool win the Merseyside derby over Everton 2-1. Leicester comfortably beat Fulham and Brighton draw against Southampton in a South Coast derby 1-1. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members members are available. Use credit code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, Merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.